Hi, today is Tuesday and we're gonna do math lesson 16. So you will need five linking cubes and your um, cards. You're gonna need the numbers one, two, three, four, and five. So you're gonna get out five, the five cards, five linking cubes, and then if you have the pages for lesson 16, um, you could do the application problem on this page right here, okay? But we're gonna start off, so you're gonna run and go get those things or hopefully you have them nearby, okay? And I'm going to show you some dots and I'm gonna see if you can tell me what number of how many dots are on the cards, okay? First, we're gonna do them in order, so that'll be pretty easy, and then we are going to mix them up and see if you can figure it out, okay? And so today, we're also gonna be practicing putting numbers in order from one to five, and working with the numbers four and five again, okay? So here we have, yep, one dot, Two, right? See if you can subitize it without counting. Here we have three. Now, as the numbers get bigger, do you notice the dots go farther over? Four and five. One, two, three, four, five. When it's five, it goes all the way across. Now watch the next one. We have five on the top and one on bottom. So we have five and one more makes six. So we can count it like this. We can go five, six, or we can count all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. After six, we have the number seven. So we can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or we can count on by saying five, because we know it went all the way across, six, seven. When you get to be a really good counter, you can do the counting on way, and you can um, see the number. So we have five, so you can slide your finger across, five, six, seven, eight. That's the counting on way. So now we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, and only how many spaces are left? One. So when we have 10, we have five, and then we have five across the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now I'm gonna just show you a couple and see if you can um, say the number quickly. Okay, so I will give you a second or two to tell me the number and then I'll tell you the number. Okay, here we go. We'll start with this number. You're right. If you said five, because it filled the top, you did a good job, you got it right. Okay, here we go, let's try this one. Four, right. Okay. Ah, oh, I see five across the top and one on bottom. That's right, it's six. That was two. Oh, I bet everyone's going to get this one super fast. Here we go. All right, one. All right, here we go. Three. One, two, three. You see there's still a room for a few more dots to get to five. Oh, I think this one will be super fast because it's filled. And when we have five on top and five on bottom, it makes the number ten. Good job. Okay, so practice subitizing at home. That's when you look at a set of objects and you try to 
uh, know the number without counting. And then check yourself, count it, and see if you're right, okay? All right, so now if you have your application page, you can get that out, and you're gonna need a pencil. Um, Mrs. Hope is gonna use a dry erase board to do mine. But your application problem says to draw four cups and five straws. Now, they're not the same, are they? No, okay, so I'm not gonna put them together, but when I draw a cup, it's kind of fun, I'm going to make a circle or an oval at the top, and then I'm gonna draw a line down and a line down, and then I'm gonna connect it across the bottom. So there's my cup. And it says I need four of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw four cups. One, two, three, four. Okay, there's my four cups. And then it says I need to draw five straws. Now straws would just be like a stick, so you could just draw or like a skinny rectangle, or you could even just make lines. So we can go one, two, three, four, five. I just drew lines. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna write the number four next to my cups, and I'm gonna write the number five next to my straws, okay? So when we write the number four, we're gonna trace down the side, cross the middle for fun, top to bottom, and then you're done. Trace down the side, cross the middle for fun, top to bottom, and then you are done. Okay, and then we're gonna do the number five for the straws, and five is trace down the side, curve like that, go back to the dot, and give it a hat. So trace down the side, curve like that, go back to the dot and give it a hat. Now, it's a little tricky because it looks like four takes up more room, but that doesn't mean there's more of them, right? Because I could draw lines to connect to show you. We're gonna see which one has more, the straws or the cups. So if I take my red marker and I draw a line, so if I do this cup to this straw, and this straw to this cup, and this straw to this cup, and this straw to this cup. Look at that, I have one extra straw. It's extra. There's no cup to put that straw in, okay? So which one has more? The four cups or the five straws? Right, we're gonna circle the one that has more, and that's the number five. Okay, good. All right. So if you didn't get that finished with me, you can do that on your own, on your application problem. But right now, I want you to get out your five uh, cards with the numbers on them, okay? So your cards are gonna be small like this with dots on the back. And I want you to turn out over your cards so that you see the dots. So you can see, I put some up here. I had to make my own. Make them a little bit bigger so you guys could see. Okay, and what in just a second, I'm gonna ask you to turn them over and you're going to put them in order from one to five. So you're gonna start with one, then two, then three, then four, then five, okay? But start with them on the dot side, okay? And we are going to flip them over and put them in order, okay? So ready and set, go. And you're gonna put them right together in a line so that they're in order. So if you look at mine, I have one, two, three, four, five. And you can see if yours matches mine, okay? And then what I'm gonna ask you to do, 
Um, you can pause this for a second, but I want you to mix them up, so mix up, mix up your numbers, and then I want you to see how fast you can put them back in order, okay? So you're just gonna keep practicing that until you can do it super fast. So just pause the video um, and practice a few times until you can do it super fast, okay? All right, Mrs. Hope is gonna take hers down. And we're going to do um, some work with the numbers four and five. So I'm going to start with four shapes. I have a hexagon, a triangle, a circle, and, oops, I need my magnet, and a square, okay? And I'm gonna draw a line on the board. And you see that line? And we're going to put some of the shapes on one side of the line and some of the shapes on the other side. So I have one, two, three, four, okay? If I take and I put, let's put two shapes over here and that leaves two shapes over here. So I have two and two, and you can take your cubes. You're gonna have four cubes to start with because we have four shapes. We have one, two, three, four, just like I had four shapes, okay? And I want you to break your cubes to match the shape. So. I still have four, but I just kind of separate them. I put two on this side and two on this side. So I can take my tower and match it. I have two and two. It matches this. So I can say four is the same as two and two. So I had four and I didn't take any away. And I didn't add any, I still have four. So that's the same as having two cubes and two cubes, or two shapes and two shapes is the same as four, okay? Is there another way we can put these shapes on the board besides having two on one side and two on the other? Can you think of another way? Right, I can move a shape over here, and now I still have four shapes, right? I didn't take any shapes away, and I didn't add any shapes to the board. So there's still one, two, three, four, but now instead of having two and two, now I have one, two, three on this side, and one on this side. So can you take your cubes and make it match? So we're gonna have, we're gonna break it where we have three and one, okay? So we could take that same set of four cubes or same four shapes and I can do two and two or I can do three and one. So we could say four is the same as three and one or three plus one. Okay, I'm going to add another shape now. So now instead of having four, if I add one more, I had four, and one more would make, that's right, five. So if I have four and one more makes five, and we're going to now add a cube to our tower too. So now it's no longer four. Once we add something, it makes it a different number. Now we have five. Okay, so if I wanted to put these together, I'm gonna put the triangles on one side, and I'm gonna put the other shapes on the other side. And how did I represent my five? That's right, I have two and three. So five is the same as two and three. Can you say that for me? Five is the same as two and three, right? I still have five shapes, I just, put them on different sides of the line, okay. And I could change that and I could make 
and put all the red and yellow ones on this side and leave the blue one over there. And now I have a different way. I still have how many shapes? Right, I still have five because why? I didn't take any away and I didn't add any shapes. So I still have five and I still have five cubes. Okay, but now on this side I have one and on this side I have four. So five is the same as one and four. Okay, good job. So today when you are, um, I want you to practice writing your fours and your fives on your, um, maybe on your dry erase mat, but then also you're going to complete lesson 16. And so when you count the cubes, you're gonna be writing those two numbers, okay? So you have two pages in your book for lesson 16. All right, so um, I will see you tomorrow.